Why narcissists never stop talking? Narcissists constantly engage in speech. They're constantly involved in the action of talking. They're rarely silently expressive unless they have no other choice. They're constantly expressing their ideas and feelings. There's always something they have to say. And they're completely under the control of their disorder. So they will always be narcissists. They will always do narcissistic things. And the illusion will always be there. They may try to distract you from it. They may try to get you to focus on something else. To make you believe something that is not true. But it's only a short term distraction. Because the truth is that they are narcissists. So you will witness their narcissistic behavior over time because they still have to satisfy their needs. So they will always be talking because talking is their currency. So they will never stop talking. To pressure, persuade and intimidate you. To force and threaten you. To make you believe whatever they want you to believe. To establish their authority over you because they're trying to brainwash you. They're pressurizing you into adopting radically different beliefs by using systematic and often forcible means, by repeatedly telling you that it is true and preventing any other information from reaching you, which is why they will often try to remove other people from your environment. They will try to isolate you so that they can be your only source of influence. The only person who has the capacity to have an effect on your character development and behavior. Because then you will start to believe it. You will begin to adapt to it. You will begin to adopt their ideas. You will begin to form your identity based on what they're conveying to you. So they will always be talking and they will never stop talking. They won't give you any alone time. You won't have any time that is spent apart from them, where you would otherwise be able to think things over because they know that alone time encourages independence. They know that it helps to build confidence in your ability to be alone, act alone and find enjoyment alone. And they don't want you to think like that. They don't want you to value your alone time. They want you to see it as a bad thing so they will shame you for it. They will make you feel like it's wrong. They will try to make you feel guilty because it's a threat to their power and control over you. Because they need you to need them. They need you to want them to be around. And they're very jealous of anything that you're engaged in that is outside of their control whether it's a book, movie or music, or even if it's just your own self-reflection. Because these are things that aren't relevant to them, but they will try to bring it back in and make it about them so that they can still have control over you. But if they can't control it, they will expect you to cut it off completely because they want to instill their set of beliefs, their system of ideas and ideals. They don't want you to think for yourself, which is why they will always be talking. And they will repeat the same things again and again for emphasis and clarity, so that it leaves an impact, so that it imprints your mind. Which is why you will find that you're having the same arguments again and again. 
the same things will keep coming up. As though they're trying to get you to accept these different beliefs about yourself, other people and the world around you. They're constantly telling you the same things. They're just presenting it in a different way because they want to lock you into their world so that they can talk about themselves so that they can condition you until it becomes intolerable until you start to get fed up of it until you're filled to utmost capacity you know full well you accept the ideas unquestioningly you have no room for anything else but that is when they will increase your capacity of what you're able to tolerate by including things that will keep you there things that will keep you interested things that will keep you engaged they will suddenly act kind and interested as though they care about you but they don't and all of that will disappear as soon as they know that you're under their control again it may not always seem like it at times but their talking does serve a purpose it's intended to condition you so that you can exist in their world in the illusion their talking helps them to find those who are already susceptible and vulnerable People who are already liable and inclined to accept a certain attitude, action or condition because maybe they had a narcissistic parent so they will believe it, they will accept it it will sit in their minds and then they will become familiar with the narcissist they will feel more comfortable with them they will begin to adopt the illusion and the fantasy because they were raised in it they've already experienced abuse so it feels normal and even more comfortable to them they feel safe being beaten down and narcissists are experts at finding people like that narcissists never stop talking and their talking serves a purpose but now that you're aware of it it should help you to become more suspicious about it because everything they're pushing always sounds so great and impressive to where it should be difficult for you to believe because they want you to think that the most amazing thing would be for you to be with them in a relationship or to have them as a friend they entice you they lure you into it until you begin to feel comfortable and then they have to find a way to keep you there but it's all made possible and made smoother by their talk they talk about things but they never actually go out and do it they will promise you the world they will promise to give you things that they can't possibly give you they will sell you a dream they will say that they will do much greater things than they will ever be able to achieve they will talk the talk but they won't walk the walk they won't act in a way that agrees with the things they say they won't put their words into action they will just make empty promises in the hopes that you will believe it but they'll never go out and actually do it because they're unable to or because they don't have the ability to do it so all they're going to do is talk and by the time they're finished you're going to feel like you've taken a drug you'll feel intoxicated you won't feel good you'll feel like you've lost some control of your actions and behavior you'll just end up feeling bad about yourself and then you'll be left to deal with those feelings on your own they're not going to be there to comfort or support you they don't even have the means to support themselves which is why they need you to listen to them talk hour after hour 
so that you will hand your power over to them and then they can feel better about themselves. But you're always the one who is left feeling drained because you're the one with the power. You're the one who is generating this energy from within. So you'll only ever feel drained and lifeless after dealing with them because they have nothing to bring to the table. They have little energy of their own. And the energy they do have is dark. It pulls you down. It suffocates your light. It leaves you feeling like something worthless and unpleasant, which is something that you end up identifying with. Even though it has nothing to do with you, it's something they gave to you. Because that's all they had to give. They have no power or energy of their own. So that's all they can make you feel. They might give you the illusion of something good in the beginning, but they're just reflecting your own ideas and dreams back to you. They're feeding off your energy while giving a little bit back to you to make you feel like you have something. But that was already yours anyway. They just took it from you and then give it back to you because that's all they can do. They can't generate anything on their own. They have nothing special or unique to share with you. They have no light. They have nothing that's going to stimulate or excite you. Nothing that's going to make you feel alive. Nothing that's going to make you feel how they feel when they're around you. So by default, all they can do is drain you until you become just like them. You become like a zombie. You become drained and lifeless to where you have nothing to give to anyone. At least until you take some time to recharge and generate that energy from within. But even then they're just going to steal it from you all over again because it's something that they're deficient in. And that's what they need you for. That's why they can't leave you alone for too long. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.